from a fan showing the middle finger to Messi to a Ronaldo fan barking at him. These are 10 times football fans went too far. And first up, we've got a fan who took things to a whole new level. He decided it was a brilliant idea to make a player drink with his own pee. Yeah, you heard me right. In a heated match between QPR and Middlesbrough, this fan got hold of the keeper Alex Smithy's water bottle, and guess what? He didn't quench his thirst. Instead, he filled it back up with his own liquid. Yuck. We can only wonder if Alex actually took a sip, but I doubt he'd admit it even if he did. The crazy part? Our liquid-loving fan got himself arrested and slapped with a $160 fine. That's crazy! But wait, because it gets crazier. Ever heard of a fan's life changing overnight? Well, meet Kinsey Wolanski. Back in 2019, she was just your typical mildly famous Instagram model with around 300,000 followers. Not enough for her, though. She wanted fame, and she had a plan. This proves that clout is one heck of a drug. Now, her boyfriend Vitali had some clout too, being the king of pranks and all, especially those fake pranks. Remember that guy who dashed onto the pitch during the 2014 World Cup final between Germany and Argentina? Yep, that's him. But back to Kinsey, she set her sights on the UEFA Champions League final between Liverpool and Spurs. She bought tickets, and with 63,000 spectators watching, she ran onto the pitch, stripped down, and ran between the players, cheeks and all, for the entire world to see, including 80 million folks at home. And here's the kicker. Instead of getting arrested or fined, the cops decided to take selfies with her. She made headlines and her Instagram account. Well, it went from 300K to over 3 million followers overnight. Now that's one way to steal the spotlight. Now, we all know football fans can get pretty passionate, but some take it to a whole new level. It's September 28th, 2022, and Argentina is taking on Jamaica. Messi is on fire, and Argentina's cruising with a 13th-a-minute goal. But wait, Messi wants more! In the 85th minute, he showed everyone how it's done. Minot stunner against Jamaica in 2022. You'd think fans would be cheering, right? But oh no. And as he slowly walked back, we had one guy who decided to scare Messi for a second. Did you see that? However, he was a supporter. Unlike this guy who decided to give Messi the ultimate salute. Yeah, probably a Ronaldo fan, huh? At least he didn't do anything else, unlike the other guy who straight up punched a player. In the Aston Villa versus Birmingham heated derby, passion was running high. Jack Gralish was the star of the show and he had an early miss. Now normally fans would groan or shout from the stands, but not this guy. He went full rage mode. He ran onto the field and pulled a sneak attack, sucker punching Grealish from behind. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, you know, I was just unaware at the time. Obviously, I was walking into position and then I just felt a whack around the, around the side of the face. Um, obviously, I don't, you know, there's rivalry and stuff in football, but um, I don't think there's any place for that, really. Grealish gets the ultimate revenge by putting one in the back of the net to secure the win for Aston Villa. That fan? Well, he got himself a 14-week vacation in jail and a lifetime ban from Premier League games. Talk about an epic backfire. However, there was this one fan who managed to become the most hated person in the history of Everton. It all went down during a seemingly normal game between Everton and Newcastle. Nothing too out of the ordinary, right? Well, wrong. Because one guy, yeah, you heard me, that one guy decided to make this game unforgettable. This dude actually decided to vlog the entire thing and preach about how the UK government should stop using oil. My name is Louis McKechnie. I'm 21 years old. I'm about to dish up to football match and I'm terrified. Moments after the second half kickoff, he strolls up to the goal and when the opportunity arises, he whips out a metal-enforced zip tie. Yes, a zip tie, to make it extra tough to get rid of him. What did he get in return, you ask? A six-week vacation in the slammer, a $1.550 fine, and a three-year football ban. That's just plain nuts, isn't it? Now, not all moments on this list are cringeworthy. Sometimes fans go the extra mile to show their love and compassion. Take these incredible Turkish fans, for instance. They rained down thousands of stuffed animals and toys onto the pitch for kids affected by an earthquake. Now that's a gesture that deserves a standing ovation. Way to keep the spirit of football alive. Now fans always get carried away, but what happened during Anthony's penalty shootout takes it to a whole new level. 
Anthony Knocker takes a dive in the penalty area, and the game's all tied up at two all. But guess what? The penalty kick, the fate of Lester, was in Knocker's hands, or should I say, feet. He's about to take them to Wembley until the opposing goalie turns into a superhero and saves not one, but two penalties. And in those last few seconds, with the clock ticking away, who else but Troy Zinni from Watford sneaks one into the back of the net? That's right, Watford's going to the championship playoff finals. But what happens next? Oh, you won't believe it. The fans, they can't wait. They burst onto the field without even giving the ref a chance to blow that final whistle. That's crazy. But what's crazier than all of that? Well, it's the year 2023 and we've got Cristiano Ronaldo meeting his biggest fan and together they create the most viral moment of the year. I kid you not. Now meet Speed, one of the biggest streamers in the world. Yeah, that's right. He's head over heels in love with Ronaldo. I mean, this dude loves Ronaldo more than he loves himself. Speed's always gone viral gushing about his favorite player. And get this, even Ronaldo heard about it. The world-famous football star heard about Speed. So when Speed just happened to be in the same city as Ronaldo, magic happened. Ronaldo made Speed's dreams come true. Oh, yes, bro. Hey, I got you right here. I love you, bro. Okay, I'm sorry. I love you, man. Okay, I love your family. I love you, bro. I love everything about you, bro. I love you, Ronaldo, bro. I love you. Oh, my God. Yep, that was not just a proud moment in Speed's life. Their pic together got over 14 million likes and became the most viral Instagram pic of any influencer ever, all thanks to Ronaldo. But here's the kicker, my friends, when you hit the big leagues like that, not everyone in the crowd is a fan. Some are killers. Imagine playing in the biggest game of your career and nearly being assassinated. It's the 1998 World Cup, and David Beckham is on the brink of becoming the football superstar. England hasn't tasted World Cup victory in over 30 years, and Bex wants to change that. He's about to become a legend, but little did he know what he was getting into. As the game unfolded, it was clear that this wasn't just your average win-or-go-home situation. It was do or die. The first half alone saw both teams scoring two goals each, and tempers were flaring. It was like a powder keg about to explode. But things take a wild turn when Beckham loses his temper, gets a red card, and is sent off. What a blunder! He single-handedly cost his country the World Cup. And overnight, he goes from hero to, well, public enemy number one. And yes, people even wanted him dead. Not only did Beckham become the most hated man in England, but his whole family became targets. For years, he was practically a prisoner in his own home, afraid to step outside. I mean, who would have thought that a simple red card could lead to all this madness? Sure, things cooled down over time, but let's be honest, not every footballer have a happy ending. So, back in 1994, Andres Escobar's story became one of the spookiest sagas in football history. Andres got the golden ticket to play in the world's most massive sports event. It was the dream he'd had since he was a knee-high kicker. But guess what? It turned into the biggest oopsie of his life. Colombia had their game face on, only losing one out of their last 26 matches. But they kind of took it easy against Romania. Well, the United States game was a must win or they'd let down an entire country. But here's the kicker. Andres, a defender, suddenly forgets why he's even on the field and scores for the wrong team. You can imagine the face palms. Colombia deflated like a pop balloon and was eliminated. Now the poor guy became a public enemy. He tried to keep a low profile, but then he decides to make a statement in the newspaper. Life doesn't end here, he said. You'd think it'd help, right? Wrong! It made things even worse. Andres goes out for a night on the town, partying hard with friends. But oh boy, things took a dark turn around 3 a.m. He steps out and uh, he saw them. His murder didn't go unanswered, because that very night, the shooter confessed he got a lovely 43-year vacation behind bars. Crazy, right? But not crazy as when Ronaldo shocked the world seven times. Why haven't you clicked that video yet? It's insane. Go on, click it.